Hello, and welcome back to Owl Boy. A very quiet Owl Boy. No sounds, no music, just ominous silence after the little problem that happened to Advent. After the last episode, I did go back and try a couple things that I noticed in editing. I was just curious about a few things, like for instance, there were a few boxes at the first set of parachute bombs that you could break, and I didn't. Went back and broke them, it was nothing. I went to Anne and broke open her cage, but then didn't grab her, and instead just left, because I wanted to see if anything happened, a little cutscene or whatever. It was nothing, nothing happens. But I did notice that when carrying Anne, you have your, your whack attack on left mouse button, I didn't even realize you could charge it for some reason. I I honestly can't even tell what charging it does. It doesn't make it stronger as far as I can tell. Maybe it makes you launch forward a little bit more, but that's mainly dependent on what you're holding down, like your movement keys more than the charge. So it's kind of strange. I don't know why you could charge, what purpose that had, but you could, so... Just thought I'd mention that little weird touch that I completely missed. Now, let's get out here. But before we do that, we will read Mandolin's journal, because this has to be Mandolin's house. I mean, I know it's Mandolin's house, because it said so when I loaded the save. I wasn't sure if I should write a diary entry today, but I figured I should. I've taken Otis in to recover in my house, where we can take care of him. I can only hope that he's still himself when he wakes up. As for the rest of us... Dot dot dot. He, she just wrote a bunch of ellipses in, in her journal. I think we might never be the same. Otis is still sleeping. I wonder how much we should tell him about what happened. I don't want to lie to him, but if I tell him everything... But if he blames himself for all this tragedy, well, my teacher is probably going to blame me for this tragedy, so I think we got that covered, lady. He's just a child. And he's still sleeping. All right. Cool. And yeah, nothing else, so let's go and assess the damage. Exclamation marks! Otis, you're awake! I'm so happy you're okay. You were all beaten up when I found you. Oh, this is all so horrible. Those poor people from Advent. We're taking as many refugees as we can. And luckily, the owls from Advent are here as well. Strix and his students are doing a really good job. We're all doing what we can, but, well... Aceo is out by the lookout point. It's just... He's been there for days and doesn't speak to anyone. Maybe he'll talk to you, Otis? Yeah, to tell me how big of a fuck-up I am. Would you mind checking up on him there? At this rate, I worry he might end up leaving the village. Oh! And Getty. He's... Um... He's down by the... the... graveyard. I guess our village has one of those now. We've located it below the village, down there. Dot dot dot. Oh, Otis, it's as if the village has lost all its color and brightness, yeah. Almost like it's, you know, nighttime or sunset or something. I hope everything will turn out alright. Hello, Mandolin. So many people lost their homes. We have to do our best to help them settle here in Veli. Oh, but you should rest until you've recovered, Otis. You still look a little frail. I... I really hope Getty is okay. I've never seen him this distraught. 
Ever since I met him, he's always been the happy guy, you know? The guy that makes you want to play a little melody. I'm sorry, Otis. I'm just a little worrier. <laughs> Cheer up, Mandolin. It could be worse. We could all be dead. Yummy, yummy food. Hello, guy. Hello. And that's it. Sorry, I would like to be left alone. No. I don't want to leave you alone. Fine, be that way. Uh, should we go in here first? Sure. Let's make some music! Whoops. It's nothing, because of course it's not. Let's talk to Bombo Man. Glad to see you safe, little Otis. Heard you were very brave in Advents. Don't push yourself too hard. We must all help out now. Must build new houses for refugees, then keep Veli safe. If pirates come here, we must be ready. I play song to keep spirits up. Oh my god. Yep, he is going to keep playing that one song for the entire game, just in case you didn't figure out the, uh, the puzzle. There you go, song for morale. Okay, okay, alright, I get it, thank you. Just had to check. As always, I have to check. Alright, let's head up here. How are we doing on supplies? Um, this is all there is, sir, Strix. This is it? This village's supplies won't even last a week. Preposterous. Aesir has done a lackluster job here, at best. We need to start planning a long-term solution for all of Advent's refugees. Comfort is secondary. Survival is top priority. Hmm. Yes, sir. Hey, Strix. Ah, Otis. It is good to see you have come too. As you can see, we are trying to cope with the poor state your mentor has left the state this village in. We never allowed such incompetence in Advent. Wow, Jesus. But fret not, little one. With our guidance, we may get your village up to snuff yet. Oh god. My students, Fib and Bonacci, are highly trained in goods transport. Being ACO student, I won't burden you with high priority tasks like transport, Otis. If there are any easy requests from your villagers, uh, you may deal with them as you wish. I'm sorry, Otis, I'm rather busy at the moment. Being ACO student, I won't burden you. And yeah, nothing else. Hmm. Oh, I don't believe we have met. Forgive me, I have to make sure I don't miss any shipments. I'm grateful that I have been allowed to stay in Veli. We'll have to do our best to help the village grow. Hmm. We only have, a, have enough supplies for about a week or so. We'll either have to plant new crops or evacuate. Hmm. Okay. Hmm hmm. And it's closed here again, and we can't talk to that guy. Alright. Hello. My beautiful house in Advent is lost! My aviary and my paintings! Only I and Chirpy made it out. Hi, Chirpy. My relatives said they'd escape eastward. I hope they made it out before the pirate captain appeared. Okay, bye, Chirpy. Guess we'll head over to the, uh, wait, hold on. Let's relax for a second. Hi, guy. Otis! Glad to see you're awake. Getty's around here somewhere. Probably by the graveyard. And then he gets silent. Oh, I forgot! There was a big red posh guy checking on you before the others came back. He skedaddled when I came back to check on you. Someone you know? You mean, uh, Alphonse? 
Come to rest up in my hot spring? Oh, Getty, if he wasn't with you, he's probably headed to the graveyard. Yeah, there we go. Clear your mind, youngin. These are dark times. And yeah, we can't summon Getty or Alphonse at the moment. I am the great Master Strix, and I am smart, strong, and fantastic. I am Aceo, and I'm stupid. Ha ha ha. Oh, wait, I got another one. Ahem. <clears throat> I am Aceo, and I am, uh, incompetent. Extremely incompetent. Ha ha ha. Hey now, look who it is. Oh man, it's Scaredy Cat Otis. I heard he was bravely locked up by his mentor during the attack. And that he bravely fainted during the commotion. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Not everyone is out to make a difference, Bonacci. That's right. At least we got a crate of food out of Advent before it was too late. Strix even gave us guard duty over these supplies. We're the best. Yeah, so beat it, Otis. We've got this taken care of. Valley will become a much better place from now on. Fuck you. Get out of our way, Otis. Can't you see we're doing important business here? Gah, Otis, you're cramping my style. Get, go on, get out of here. And Fib? Get out of our way, Otis. Can't you see we're doing important business here? Gah, Otis, you're cramping my style! Get, go on, get out of here! They're saying the exact same thing. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Can't destroy the supplies. Oh god, this is new. Explosion lady made it out alive, at least. Hey, how's it going? Hi there, boy! The counterattack on the pirates didn't go so well, huh? I suppose I'm to blame for that as well. Don't beat yourself up over it. We have to think about the future now. Everyone is talking about leaving Veli to hide from the pirates. They think they'll attack here next. In my opinion, the only way to escape is upwards. You'll see what I mean when I finish my work on this building. It's a fucking rocket. Okay, great. Everyone is talking about leaving Veli. Yeah. And no one is here at the very edge. But what about the professor? He's not here. Alright, never mind. He's probably off working on something. Or helping someone. Oh. I'm seeing some weird lines again. Like, now it's not V-Sync. It doesn't seem to be that. But just occasionally, I don't know if these are going to show up in the video. It's very unreliable. It's just like... A single black line at about this height or so that just flashes for like one frame. Hello, who are you? Someone sleeping. Erk! Don't do that again, please! I haven't slept properly since before the pirate attack. I wish I had a bed. Erk! Oh yeah, if you see my daughter, tell her dinner will be late. That's if she finds her way back at all. Wow. Erk! Oh, yeah. Hello? Can't believe it. He can't believe it. It's unreal. Hi. Hi, bro. My name is Pip. What's your name? Can't talk, huh? That's fine. I'll just call you bro. Owl bro. Nice to meet you, owl bro. My mom wanted me to come eat dinner. Hmm. Nah. I want to stay outside, bro. I'll go home when it's bedtime. Maybe a bit after bedtime. Okay. I uh, guess we'll just check back with the mom, but I don't think this is anything. Oh, and the professor was there. Erk! Yeah, okay. Nope. 
Oh, so this is the graveyard. Yeah, so we won't go there yet. Confound it! I can't make sense of it. The only thing the pirates seem to have disturbed here in Veli is this ruin. Yet, they destroyed Advent in minutes. If only our plan had worked, the pirates would have been stopped. Getty says the wind machinery was never even active. Then, how come the islands are still shifting? No matter, the pirate threat is far greater. There must have been something inside this ruin that the pirates wanted. That stubborn old, old fool Aesio knows something, but he won't tell me. Could it have been some powerful old owl artifact? Why won't Aesio just cooperate? The pirates didn't come here to destroy Veli, that's for sure. The only thing they destroyed was this ruin. The owls used to make all kinds of stuff so advanced I can't comprehend it. Whatever was in here, it was important enough that they prioritized coming here over going to Advent. Oh my god, I am trying to read this episode. I don't know how this is going to turn out to be. There's so much fucking reading and I keep messing everything up because I'm so tired. So sorry if there's weird cuts. This game is not very friendly towards cutting. Generally, when I read stuff in games, if I fuck up, I try to gloss it over by, like, cutting things out. You can't do that in this game because of the constantly moving backgrounds. If I cut out half a second, one second, five seconds, you'll know. And that's so frustrating to me. Oh man, reading was never my strong suit. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Question marks. Yeah, that's probably gonna happen quite a bit in Owl Boy. Like, reading and failing to read and then having to make cuts, there's bound to be awkward moments and awkward, out-of-place things where it seems like, what the hell just happened? That was a an odd choice to cut there. Just so you know. Okay, can't get any more health at this point. Am I strong enough to tackle the, uh, the Scarecrow? I'm not. And I'm dead. Okay, just wanted to see what happened if you didn't react to it. And yeah, I guess that's about it. Don't see any other people around. We can't break this open yet. And we probably can't go down here. Nope, because we need Getty again. But we can check what's in our own house. And have some tea, maybe. Yeah, the music starts playing now, finally. Does that mean the that Veli will... Oh, that's, it's daytime out there. That's weird. I guess they didn't really expect anyone to even check there. Hold on, did you see that? If you go to, uh... Like, Mandolin's house? I just gotta check that quick. No, it's just black. I guess Otis's house is the only one where you open up and actually see Veli outside. So it, it just... they forgot to change that during this time or something. Alright. Graveyard time. Oh, hi. Th this is too much! I can't believe it, Otis. Everything has gone wrong. I can't stay here in Veli. It's been nice to know you, Otis. Goodbye. I don't think we'll see each other again. Wow. Okay. I still don't even remember his name. Okay, bye. I see. Okay. Do I even want to go to Getty first or to uh, Aceo first? I guess Getty. I don't know.
So many lives lost. I... I can't believe this happened. I was right there, and I couldn't help. None of the things we accomplished mattered at all. We were doing so great, and yet, this is how it all turned out. Aw. We failed them. Poor Getty. We failed them all. Come on, Getty. Cheer up. I miss it, Otis. I miss it so much. Even though we never got to fully experience Advent. It's streets, it's culture, the people. We never got to see how it all turned out. Otis. Did we... try hard enough? I... I... I don't know if I can go back there, Otis. Hey, Getty. Do you think it makes any difference what we do from now on? Our future is lost. Our capital is completely gone. Think about it. The pirates destroyed Advent this easily? What are we to do? I... I don't feel like I belong in this village anymore. I've... failed all of them. Is it okay if I stay at your place for a while? I need to get away from here. Too bad you don't get a yes and no choice, and you could say no. Okay. Well, I guess... I guess Getty's gonna be at my house now. You can't go further on here. But I'll still just walk in this graveyard, either just for, like, reverence of the dead, or just because it makes him very sad and uncomfortable to be in here. But now he's happy again! Let's go! Flying through the skies, like the wind. And we'll just check in with Getty here. Otis, I'm not sure what I want to do now. None of the stuff we do seems to work. Maybe everyone's right when they say we're just in the way. I guess Alphonse knows best. Maybe we should just follow him from now on. He seems to know what's going on. Maybe it's best if you and Alphonse go, like, without me. Here, drink this! I didn't mean to do that. Maybe we'll have a better shot if we just stay here in Veli. That way, we can't mess anything up. Maybe we can get our lives back on track again. Maybe I could finally settle down with... Bombo Man? Is it Bombo Man? Well, do we have time for one last cutscene? I suppose we do. I probably should end it off soon, but it's been nothing but cutscenes, and I guess we'll do one more. I hope this one isn't, like, or is, I, I don't know, this one is probably going to be very long. Because, like, now is the cutscene that will shape all cutscenes, and the future of Owlboy. Like, what are we actually going to do? We have to talk to ACO for that. So, maybe it actually is better if I just end it off here. Plus, I'm really fucking tired, so I think it's probably for the best. We'll leave it here, and yeah, that was a lot of talking and a lot of depression. So next time, hopefully we can swing back and make up a plan, and Aesio will know what to do to stop these pirates, even though he probably still hates us for being worthless and useless. We'll see. Also, by the way, I'm calling it now, Aesio at some point will, like, sacrifice himself to save Otis, 
and he's just always complaining and like, oh, I fucking hate you, you're such a disappointment. And then he sacrifices himself, oh, the teacher, and something like that. If they really want to ham it up, they could have like dying words like, Otis, you actually were, I was so happy to have you as my student. I don't even fucking know. I, I'm calling it. Something like that is going to happen. We'll see when. Thanks for watching the episode. Hope you enjoyed. And yeah, we'll see how much more cutscenery there is next time and when we'll actually get back into the plan and what we're going to do from now on. See you then. Bye-bye.